get three weeks, three more games, and then they get a break. And you know, I mean, they, they just—it's just the way you know the way the schedule set up, and, and they, they they seem to be fine. Lou feels like they're lifting and running well, and all that part's good. So. Okay, he probably he probably get a good read on if everybody was well, saying. He, he knows, yeah, he knows, you know, just because of the way they are when they lift and run and so forth. Just, just what you said before the season, you were going to try to monitor how you know. This a little bit longer season and everything. Well, it, it, it's not the season any longer. It's just you know we want to make sure that we're fresh. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and this is kind of a little bit just gives more rest. The thing that happens when you practice Monday night, and we may go back to practice Monday night next week. But uh, and when you go out Tuesday morning, there's only a 12 or 13 hour mm -hmm. layover. So, uh, but but the, you know I think the, the the result we like the result uh, uh, practicing Thursday morning. Then you get you know. All day Thursday, all day Friday, and Saturday for the game. So I think from, you know you, you make it up there. Been a little fresher then. Even. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So from looking at their tape, what's the difference between Ohio State with Miller at quarterback and Bowserman at quarterback? Well, Miller's he's he's you know he's a runner. He's an athlete. He's an athletic guy, a guy that's hard to get a hold of, and uh, a guy that causes the defense a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. Anytime you got a quarterback that can run and throw and do all those things, it's athletic. Uh, you know, causes your problems. I think all you got to do is look at the first. A half or so on take out hurt against three quarters uh, against uh, Nebraska is pretty good. Seemed like he really gave them a spark. Well, I mean, he's you know once again he's he's, he's an exciting player. He plays with energy. You know, he, you know he's a guy that uh, but that guy they had last year was a pretty good player too. So he's got <laughs> <laughs> a little line different. Up, line up and play. Did you do you ex so you expect him to be out there? Oh yeah. You I count mean, on that? Yeah, I, don't, I mean, I was you know yeah I, when, they, when as soon as I found out it was an ankle I. I uh, Felt pretty strong he'd be out there. You get the sense maybe even that was a precautionary thing in the, in his case. Oh, no. I, 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 okay. don't, I don't know anything about that. I just know when he said it was an ankle, it, it, I figured he'd be there. Because okay. uh, when you saw it on tape, it didn't look like a high ankle sprain. So he's got a sprained ankle. Darius getting closer? Or? No, I, you know, he's he's uh, off crutches. And, and uh, you know, Phil felt good today. We just have to kind of wait and see. Day to day. Coach, uh, Looking at Ohio State, they've, they've had some issues this year, but it seems like that defense hasn't they, – they've played pretty well on defense. Defense pretty good. Defense pretty good. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, you know, they're, they're, they're a good football team. I mean, they've gotten beaten by – Nebraska's a good football team. And, you know, I mean, they, they, believe me, it'll be a – you know, they got their backs against the wall, so, I mean, it's going to be a game where, you know, they we, we got to win. we got well, we got to come out and match their intensity because they're going to come out and – very, very intense and ready to go. To date, this will be the most physical game of the year, won't it? I mean, well, the Arizona I, State was pretty rough. But. Yeah, but I mean, it'll be, <coughs> you know, it'll be physical. I think the rest of we talked about that the rest of the, in, in our meeting this morning. You know, the rest of these games are all going to be physical. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think, I think uh, uh, all the Big Ten games are physical, even mm -hmm. though some people won't think they are. They, they are. They're physical. Tavon had a got an award from the Big Ten this week. I know that stuff is not a big deal to you in the grand scheme of things, well, but, but he obviously played well. Yeah, I mean, it's big. I'm, I'm happy. I'm proud of him. I mean, right. it's, it's, but, you know, I, I mean, I think it's, it, he'll be the first to tell you that, you know, the, the guys who, who created the pressure got the sack and, and or caused the fumble, he was able to pick it up. And, you know, we talk about guys being in position to when the play happens to make it. Plays are going to happen. Uh, not necessarily go try to make plays. is is be in position, and when the play's there, make it, and, and that's what uh, that, that's what they're doing. I was trying to figure out who had the better game, Tavon or, or Whitney. They both had pretty Whitney, good game. Whitney had a pretty good game, too. He, he really did. I think the one sack, I think, that they gave uh, Tavon actually was Ian Thomas's. Yeah. Oops. So. Uh, not to tell him. Uh, well, that, I mean, I mean it's, it's, it wasn't even close. <laughs> is there is there uh, is that one of the better games Tavon's played here? I mean, to look at all yeah, that. It seemed like he was there, like, in the right place well, a lot. Yeah, I think with, with – with, Every position, but but particularly defensive backs. There's certain games where there's not going to be a lot of action. Okay. And you know, this just happened to be a game where he, you know, he was he was in a lot of action. So, uh, but but the good thing is is he, uh, you know, he was in position when the when the plays happened, and that's that's the key. He's having he's having a good year though, right? Oh yeah, he's had it. He's he's been a great player since he's been here, and a great kid. Does Ohio <laughs> State mean more to the guys when they see you know a big name program like that coming to town? Uh, I, they're all pretty important. I mean, it's you know, it's one at a time, and this Hollis is the next one, so we're gonna. But historically, you know, Illinois has played Ohio State pretty close the last few years. It seems like is, mm -hmm. is there something different there? Or? Well, I, I mean, I, you know, I, I don't know if there's anything different. I mean, it, it is, a, it is a big game. I mean, they're all big games. Obviously, uh, Michigan will be a big game. Wisconsin will be a big game. Purdue will be a big game. I think they're all big. But but we have played Ohio State well.
this this is a new team, a new year. I know that. But you guys have continuously like knocked off some of these things that haven't happened in a while. You know, the ten year ranked team thing. You know, Pac twelve team, all that. Ohio State hasn't lost here in ten, in twenty years. Is that another one of those that you know? I mean, at least I was born. Well, good point. Good point. Yeah, you know, at least you were born. The other one, I wasn't born. But do you love kind of, or is that one of those look back at after the year type things when you knock those things off? Yeah, I mean, it's. I mean, obviously, it's a big game, and, and we got to go play. But once again, all these things that have happened, uh, you know, it's going to be for not if we don't continue doing what we're doing. And, and uh, you know, and it's like I've said about a lot of these games. I mean, you know, one game's not going to determine you know whether. We have a successful year, and I said that before the Arizona State game. If we get, you know, if we're not fortunate enough to beat Arizona State, it's not going to be the end of the season. I said it about Northwestern. I'll say it about Ohio State. I mean, we still got to play, and and there's still six games left, so uh, we got to play. We got to win. You know, we got we got to play well, and our guys know they got to play well, and they know this will be a tough test. But you've told your kids, if you play well, you can beat everybody that's left. I, 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 I we said that August the fourth. Right. You know, right. if we if, if we were good enough, if you know, didn't didn't have any. Didn't mean anything other than that the more guys you got believing that, the better chance you have of winning. You got to win every year. Said it last year. You got to win the turnover. I'm saying every year. Said it last year. Get, uh, turnover. And we were. We were in I every mean, game last year. There's sometimes when it's a different situation. And, and if you go back and you look at last year, you know, and I told them at the end of the season, we didn't have enough guys believing that August the third or third to last year. They didn't. They, you know, you didn't have enough guys believing that, and that's why you know, obviously, it took us a while to get going. And, the turnover battle thing. I know that's that didn't go the way you want. And I know we, can't, that's, we can't turn the ball over. And, you know, and, and those guys, offensive guys know it. That, but when that happens, the defensive guys got to go in and do what they did. And and I think that the thing that, like I told him this morning, you know, for us to have the kind of year we want, uh, there's going to be times that the defense is going to struggle and the offense going to pick up a slack. Uh, the first part of the season, uh, uh, the Arizona State game, uh, the, the offense held on the football and. and, and it's pretty easy to play defense when, when the defense is sitting over there on the bench. So, I mean, it's a team game, and I think you go back and you, we've needed the special teams. And there's some things we got to get shored up, but we will. Um, uh, and it's going to take all three phases to, for us to be successful, and, and they're all going to have to bail each other out. 